I am using my phone, so if it's not the best quality, please um, understand. Anyway, um, I know it's been a very long time since I've really done any hair updates, and that is due to just some major changes in transitioning that um, I've been in lately. I've had a career change, and it's been, all been for the good, but it's just kind of um, caused me to... Um, only be kind of focused on that <laughs> for the most part um, however this video is just to give you an update on my current regimen here's my hair here's how it looks um, and I really like it a lot I really like it a lot um, what you're seeing is first of all let me give you just kind of an update on length um, if you can see that so I have gotten some length since like the last time I've really i um, done a video and I'm very very happy with my hair I'm just um, I mean of course I wanted to continue to grow but one thing I can say that I have learned is to just really appreciate where I'm at in my hair journey just enjoy it along the way the length is gonna come as long as you're taking care of your hair as long as you're keeping it healthy the length is gonna come so just enjoy where you are on the way to um, where you want to be um, however uh, what I've been doing is something called water washing. Um, I've been uh, reading about it, watching some videos about it. Um, there's a, a YouTube vlogger called Water Washing Only. Um, her videos were helpful. Um, there's another young lady. Um, I'm so sorry, but I can't remember her name either. But she has some very helpful information. And if you just kind of look it up on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find the both of them. Um, Anyway, um, so what it consists of is you have to start off by just cleansing, just cleaning your hair. You want to start off with a clear canvas. Um, you can choose to cleanse with a shampoo. I chose to use vinegar, um, uh, aloe, aloe vera juice, um, water, and I put a little bit of almond oil in an applicator bottle and just, just kind of shook it up, mix it up. Got in the shower, um, really thoroughly rinsed my hair, and then I took the applicator bottle through my scalp and just kind of went through and massaged it in really good, um, loosened up the buildup, and just kind of brought the cider vinegar through my hair to really just cleanse it. And what I liked about it is, though, you know, although I was cleansing my hair, it left it completely soft. Um, some people recommend that when you do this method that you um, twist your hair afterward because what you're going to depend on as far as keeping your, you know, the moisture in your hair. Um, most people choose to do this method where they only use water on their hair and no other products. Um, and you may wonder, you know, how is that going to be possible? Won't your hair get dry? Um, but what the idea of it is to use your natural oils to kind of seal in the moisture and to protect and coat your hair. Um, and that oil is called sebum. It's the oil that your scalp naturally produces. And um, the idea is for the sebum to coat your hair from scalp to ends. And um, that's really what you're going to use to really manage your hair is that. And so um, let's talk about a little bit of how that's going to happen. So um, with people with curly hair, um, sebum is isn't able to just kind of run straight down so it's going to need some help from us so as our scalp produces it we have to kind of daily um, take our hands and massage our scalp and then pull that sebum down through your hair strands and some people say that for longer hair it can take up to four weeks to kind of get the sebum to coat your hair from scalp to end by doing that process where you pull it down in this process, you can rinse your hair daily if you want to. Um, and once you get full coverage, you can rinse it weekly. Or if you want to do it more than that, you can do that as well. Um, for me to get total coverage, I have total coverage right now. It took uh, just over a week. Um, I was doing it daily. Um, my hair doesn't smell. It doesn't stink at all. That was one of my concerns before I did this. I was thinking, okay... Is my hair going to stink? That sounds really unclean, but that has not been my experience at all. My hair feels very soft um, and it feels very protected. You can feel the sebum actually on your hair. It 
kind of can have a waxy feel to it um, because it's not something that you're used to. But um, my hair has been doing really well. It hasn't um, uh, dried out or anything like that. It's um, It feels very good, um, better than it's actually felt with products. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't know if this is something that I'm going to do um, forever, but right now I like it. I will give you guys updates as to what I choose to do in the future. Um, why am I doing this? Let's talk about that. Um, just through some of the research and, you know, reading and videos that I've been watching, um, it really creates an atmosphere for your hair to be at its healthiest, um, just to kind of promote growth and the health of hair without the, you know, effects of using some products that we put on our hair. And so I'm just really on a quest to have the healthiest hair that I can have and just to create an environment for my hair to thrive. That's why I'm choosing to do this. Um, and so I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what I'm doing. Um, have you heard of the water washing method? Is that something that you've tried before? What do you know about it? Do you have any questions for me? Um, please feel free to put them in the comment, comment box below and um, I'll be happy to answer or get back with you. Um, thank you so much for continuing to stay with my channel. Um, I will be uh, back and you'll see more of me and I look forward to hearing from you. So you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.